Hey guys, uh, we're going to take a break from a couple turkey hunts here and we're going to show you guys how we mount our turkeys with EP. Uh, we use bone fever plaques. This is a turkey keeper that we use here. Um, we're going to use my nephew Carter's bird, this beautiful tom we actually just took with Scott and Gina. Uh, we're going to use this turkey, this fan, and its feet and spurs to show you guys how to do a fan mount with the turkey keeper. All right, what we got first, um, I guess we'll do the beard first because that's the easiest. So. Um, come on in here and I'll kind of show you what we do with the beard and Carter you can even come around my side here bud And then you can learn and then I'll try and teach everybody on here how we do it um, I do see guys a lot of times they pull the beard out and they end up trying to like cut off half of this meat with the fan Or with the beard so what you want to do actually instead of actually cutting that you can pluck these just like Just like a feather if I can get the right angle for you guys to see here got it What you can do is you just pull that back and that actually pops right off just like what a feather would so that's your beard, and you're all set. Now um, we can go to we can do the feet. Uh, how to pull the feet off of these guys? Um, we're gonna actually break it off at the joint right here, and then I'm gonna show you guys later how to actually preserve them so they don't smell and to get all that done. But to get it off, um, really all you're gonna do is pull the leg up from the side um, and get that joint, and you're just gonna push down at a side angle from the side of the leg, and it's a little gruesome. Like I said, this is just the easiest way to do it is you're actually gonna break the leg, and then you're gonna break the leg the opposite direction. You're gonna break that right off. Yes, I know that's gruesome. Um, that's just how we do it. And then you're actually going to take the leg, and you're gonna cut that cartilage, and you get down in, and you get that joint, and then you got your foot. Um, the next part's the fan. So this part, Carter, and everybody, and everybody else, um, what we want here are actually the top two tiers of feathers. So we've got our longest fan feathers here And we've got our second longest feathers here for the fan. All of these third tiers. These are all going to be gone We don't need any of those fan feathers right there So what we'll do is we're actually going to pull those forward and if you come up here and take a look there, hon um, What you can see is we've kept all of these smaller feathers that belong here You can see the difference between where you've got just your second tier, right down to the smallest ones. You got your second tier feathers and you got your tallest ones. All of these feathers from there back, you don't need. So we're gonna actually, we're just gonna pull those feathers right off. We'll throw those to the side. We're gonna throw those into the trash. I'm just trying to more so um, show you guys kind of clear a little area here so you can see what we got going and, and how we actually pull this fan off of the bird to get it ready for the plaque. So that gives you a little better idea on the front side of what you've got. And you can actually kind of see this, this bone structure here. You got that kind of plate right here. You can actually grab right a hold of that and get your fingers around it. So we've got the top part done. We got our top two tiers. And then we're gonna pull those, those longest feathers. If you come back just a little bit. And you can see where we've got our long feathers here. All of our longest fan feathers forward. These are the feathers on the bottom of their butts. So we do not need those fan feathers. We're gonna end up pulling those feathers off. So we're just gonna pull those. Those are garbage, we don't need those. So now what we've got on both sides here is you got that plate, you can feel it here on this side and you can see it on this side, both sides. Um, we're gonna cut that joint pretty much right straight across. So we're gonna come in right behind that joint right there. So that right there, now we're back to what we've got here. We're gonna go in right behind that piece right there. And same thing on this side, we're gonna cut right in, you find that joint, just like that. The skin comes right off. And now what we've got left are our second fan feathers and our top main fan feathers. That's what we got, Carter James, good man. Um, that's Carter's turkey, and we're gonna come back and show you guys how to get that set up and completely finished and put on the plaque. Okay, this is our table full of all of our fun stuff to do our fan mount here with the bone fever. What we've got is, uh, we've got the beard and the feet obviously, and the fan, we need those. Um, we're going to run with Morton Salt today just because that's all I have at the house currently. So Borax does a really, really nice job as well. Um, I usually prefer the Borax, but we're going to run with salt today. Um, uh, we're going to need pins uh, with the balls on the top are the ones that I usually prefer. Um, and then we're going to run with some uh, wire snips or tin snips here, and a pair of the square nose um, you know, tight pliers here. You don't have to have those, you know, any, pretty much any plier will work, but I kind of like to use those ones to get the bone out of the middle of the fan and the cartilage. So, um, we are going to need a razor or two here to skin all the meat off of it and get it cleaned right down to the cartilage, something real sharp. A uh, knife does work, but, um, Zacto blades or any of that type of stuff I think work a little better. Um, then we've got the hot glue gun. We're going to do that once we get everything all done and dry. 
And of course, we have the one and only Bone Fever Turkey Keeper. So and that's what we're gonna end up putting this fan on once we get it all dried out. Okay, what we're gonna do here to get the meat off of this thing is we're going to actually take uh, the razor blade and you're gonna wanna take that blade and you're gonna wanna cut down and run it right flat across the top of what the, the bottom stems of those feathers there. get this right down to that yellow stuff and we have to go around this bone. I know you're never supposed to cut towards yourself but uh, in this process we're just going to be super careful and we're going to get all this stuff off of there. Okay, and what we're gonna do now here is we're gonna try and get this bone out of here. So we'll see if we can get this on the first try. Um, you can see where this is all just the cartilage down through here. This is just what the, the feathers are actually attached to. And what we've got in the middle here is that bone. If we can get this thing around it. Now we got most of that bone broke up in there. We're gonna go in and we're gonna clean the middle of that out. Try not to get into them feathers. As you can see now, we actually have that bone right out of the middle there. And you can see where it's starting to actually expose uh, a little bit of those right there. We still have that cartilage up there holding those in there so we're good. But you can see how it almost, we got rid of that bone so now we can really get them feathers spread out nice and pin them out good. So uh, we'll get the rest of this little bit of red stuff cleaned off of there. Uh, a little bit of meat there, and then we are going to um, get this thing salted, and then we're going to start pinning it out. So, last little tedious stuff here, we're going to get cleaned off, and then we should be good. What we're going to do, um, pretty much, is just we're going to end up, you know, putting some salt on top of this, and flipping it over, and getting salt on the other side, and making sure that we really get it covered all over the top of whatever um, it has the moisture to it, where you know, stuff that can actually spoil. So, just to preserve it. Okay, so now that we have the fan set up here, I want to show you guys um, how we're actually going to make sure these are all in line. As you can see here, um, you start with your middle fan feather and, and you'll see that you're, they're going to overlap the same direction. You want every one of them to overlap the same way. You don't want one over top this way and one over top to the other side. So you can see here, see how you've got this fan feather here is overlapped by that fan feather there, which is overlapped by that one, which is overlapped by that one. You want to have them all overlapped each other the same exact direction. And you want to do the same thing down here in the middle. So as you can kind of see, you got one kind of goofy one right here. This is just an example because this one was sticking out. So what you want is you can see on this side, they're all being overlapped the same direction. These ones actually on the bottom are overlapping on the top side. So you got a top here, top here, you're just overlapping all the way up to your point and you're gonna have that middle one be tucked in behind. The top is actually the opposite. Your middle one is gonna be on the, um, the top side of um, the top part of the fan. So what we got down on the bottom here, uh, you can see where these are all overlapped that direction and then all of a sudden we've got this one weird fan feather right here. So uh, what we're gonna wanna do, that one's overlapped. Well, we're, what we gotta do is pull this one out here and then you're just going to make sure that now they're all overlap the same exact direction. So that one's over top of that one and that one. They're just all lined exactly the same. When you get them mixed around, it just doesn't look as clean and as pretty. So um, that's kind of how we're going to actually line them all up so that you can see everything's perfectly symmetrical. Same thing down here. Okay, to start this out, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to pin the actual cartilage part of the fan right down here. We're going to pin that right through so that it can't move on us. Because what we're going to end up doing when we pull these apart to make that, that fan go, this thing's going to want to slide down on us. So we actually want to get it started. And you can see we want to get that first feather parallel with the bottom of the cardboard. And then we're going to actually throw that needle down in there uh, to kind of keep that so that it stays parallel with the bottom here. So we'll get it close to parallel here. And we're going to actually take that and we're going to run a pin right through there, right through the bottom of that cardboard. So that way it can't move. And then we're going to do kind of the same thing on the other side. We're going to pull that down. We've got to pin this one first, actually. Pin that one down. 
And what you want to do um, is actually you want to take and you want to run your needle on the inside of that fan feather, the direction that it's going to want to pull. Um, you're going to actually want to stick your needle. So right now we got the vein of the feather actually running this way. So we're going to be on that left side to keep that from pulling this way. Um, so that'll be our first pin down there. Uh, and then we're going to take this side here and we're going to run and do the same thing. So now that's holding that, you can kind of see what we got going there. And we're going to pin this side down. And now that one's held there. And what you can see, this is starting to want to kind of lift on us. So we're actually going to run a pin through that there as well. So we're going to pin that right flat. You know, and we may have to, uh, depending on the size of the tom, we may have to end up working that these up in a little bit. Sometimes you don't get that full, perfectly flat uh, parallel fan just because sometimes they don't have as many feathers or they're not as big, depending on the bird. So um, right now we're going to end up just starting to pin these guys down and we're going to um, we're going to just start pulling pulling these down. You can see here. So what you want to do now is you want to pull down just so that you can get coverage um, so that you don't have any gap in between here. So right now you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a gap. Same thing on that side. But you can see where there's a little bit of a gap here. And you want to just pull that so that it goes, pull it down. Just so that you have coverage there. And then you're going to want to run that needle on the inside of that feather. So now that one's nice and flat. And then we're just going to work our way across that way until we get to the end. And hopefully we have full coverage all the way across. Okay, so what we're going to do with Carter's feet, uh, this bird, he wanted to do uh, just the spurs. We're actually going to take these spurs right off of the foot. So what we're going to do is you can kind of see where the, uh, the line of the spur actually goes right here. And we're going to take these wire snips and we're actually just going to cut, pretty much cut right around those. And it's a little bit tough to get them off of there because um, it is bone. To get that to pop and try and do a little bit more here so you can see that comes right off of there and that bottom part will actually fall right off the spur itself and then you just got the shell here so as you can see here um, what actually ended up happening is you can actually uh, not always this is not always the case a lot of times you do have to actually chop those off of there um, but actually in this case these spurs um, ended up just coming off and they're going to be hollow on the inside and you don't have to um, do it that way you can actually normally I would take and I would chop that whole thing right off of there um, but this does happen once in a while where um, the, the actual spur part on the outer part will just pop right off and you end up with a hollow cap so there's obviously nothing in there that's going to rot or anything like that so uh, we're going to end up cleaning and trimming uh, all of this stuff off of there so that we are just down to the, the black part of the spur so we got these all trimmed here and now you can kind of see that there's nothing on them. They're clean all the way around and what we're going to end up doing with these when they're hollowed out like that, we're just going to fill one side, the, the, say the first spur, we're going to take this first one and we're going to fill that with hot glue and while it's still hot, we're going to take a finish nail and we're going to stick it down in there so that that finish nail is sticking out a good quarter to half inch. So once that hardens, we have that nail sticking out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the other side, we're going to fill that with hot glue once this one's completely dry and the nail is sticking out. And we're going to fill the other one and while that's still hot, we're going to take and we're going to put these two together just like that. And that finish nail is going to help hold those together for us. So when we get done, you know, it's going to be um, something along those lines. It's going to look kind of like that. And uh, what we're going to end up doing there is we're going to wrap that in black thread and then we're going to end up putting that on the front of the, the turkey keeper. on there holding that nice and flat getting everything uh, to dry just the way we want it to be on the wall so the hot glue is now done and dried as you can see it just puts a good coat on there that's all nice and hard now um, same thing on the other side 
Okay, so we've got uh, the fan all set and ready to go. We've got it all hot glued, it's all dried, it looks good. Um, we've got the turkey keeper here. What we're gonna end up doing here with the beard is there's a slot right underneath here made to put the beard up into. And all you're gonna do is you push that up in there and it's gonna be fairly snug and uh, it's just gonna hang on there just like so. So now what we've got going on here is all we're gonna do is we're gonna take that fan and we're gonna slide it down into the turkey keeper and we're going to get it so that it sits in there nice and straight across the bottom and it's just, it's literally just as easy as that I mean you just slide the thing down in there and you get it right tucked in nice and tight to the bottom okay we've got our finished product here um, what we ended up doing with the spurs I'm gonna show you guys what I did here it's kind of hard to show you on the video of exactly how to do it but it's it's pretty simple it's cut and dry uh, you end up taking where you had glued these two together here uh, you wrap it in your black string and then you're gonna hot glue it onto the, the front of the turkey keeper And that's kind of what I decided to do with mine this year, too, and uh, doing the same for my nephew Carter So that is the finished product right there of a beautiful fan mount and, and a very very cool way to display your trophy guys It's very very sharp um, I don't even think the pictures or any of this stuff does it justice, but it is very cool looking in person so um, and then you can actually take in that star depending on where you shot your bird well, shot them over there so now you can uh, you know personalize this for whatever turkey you've got on there um, mine was killed over in this general area here so we're gonna leave it right there pretty sweet bone fever the turkey keeper